my name is dr vishakha i am a resident in the department of radio diagnosis dy patel medical college navi mumbai maharashtra so i have done a retrospective study to correlate the hrct changes in rt pcr positive patients and their vaccination status the first case of the notorious ongoing sars cov 2 aka covid 19 pneumonitis was confirmed on 6 january 2019 Clinically, the patient can present with symptoms like fever, chills, cough, shortness of breath, difficulty in breathing, anosmia, body ache, and few severe presentation like ARDS. Radiologically, typical pulmonary changes can be seen on HRCT chest study. RT-PCR is the gold standard lab investigation for confirmation. Vaccination has led to a reduction in the transmission of the viral infection, with decrease in the severity of infection in affected individuals. Two vaccines have been approved in India at the time of the study that is Covaxin and Covishield both of which require two doses for complete vaccination. The aim of the study is to determine lung changes with respect to their vaccination status whether the patient is partially vaccinated or completely vaccinated. Retrospectively data was collected between 1st June to 18th August 2021. HRCT chest of patients with RT-PCR positive status that is CORADS 6 and CORADS 5 with RT-PCR positive status confirmed on follow up were included in the study the type of vaccine along with the dose of vaccine was recorded patients above the age of 18 years who are eligible for vaccination in india at the time of study were considered a ct severity score was also documented So the results of my study showed that out of 240 patients with RT-PCR positive status and COVID suspects were um, that 56.25% were males and 43.75% were females. Out of the total, 79.58% were non-vaccinated, 13.75% were partially vaccinated, and only a small uh, percentage, that was 6.67%, were fully vaccinated. The mean chest CT severity score in non-vaccinated patients came out to be 12.199 out of 25. In partially vaccinated, it was 10.575 out of 25, and in fully vaccinated, it was 7.5. The mean CT severity score was lower for patients who had received both doses of vaccination than those who had received only first dose of vaccine. Mean CT severity score in patients after first dose of vaccine came out to be 10.5 and after both doses was 7.5 hrct changes were noted in 34 patients who had received the first dose of vaccine of these 6 patients had received covaxin and 28 had received covishield as their first dose 16 patients showed changes on hrct after being fully vaccinated that is having taken two doses of the same vaccine out of these 5 had received covaxin and 11 had taken covishield The mean CT severity score after the first and second dose of Covaxin was 10 and 11 respectively. And the mean CT severity score after first and second dose of Covishield was 11 and 5.9 respectively. So coming on to the discussion, pulmonary changes noted on HRCT include variable presentation which include GGOs, areas of consolidation, crazy pavement pattern and fibrous bands. CT severity score uh, is done by calculating the percentages of each of the five lobes that are involved. The total CT severity score can range from zero, that is no involvement, to twenty-five maximum involvement. We observed that patients with complete and partial vaccination had a lower average CT severity score, which supports the effectiveness of the vaccine in preventing the severe disease to an extent. Significant difference in the mean CTSS was noted between that of non-vaccinated and fully vaccinated patients. However, no significant difference or correlation was noted between the mean CTSS of non-vaccinated and partially vaccinated, and partially vaccinated and fully vaccinated patients. The group which had received the first dose of Covishield vaccine had a marginally lower CTSS, that was 10.6 on 25, as compared to the group which had received Covaxin as the first dose, that was 10 on 
The average CTSS was significantly lower for the group which had received second dose of Covishield vaccination that was 5.9 on 25 in comparison to those who had received second dose of Covaxin which was 11 on 25. Hence showing that the second dose of Covishield is more effective than second dose of Covaxin. Also taking two doses of Covishield is more effective than two doses of Covaxin. In conclusion, lower average CT severity score is in fully or partially vaccinated patients is seen as compared to unvaccinated patients. Complete vaccination in patients could be critical in preventing severe lung disease. Here is a 28-year-old male who has already received the first dose of Covaxin and shows GGOs on HRCT. His score adds was 6 and CTSS was 12. 47-year-old male with GGOs and consolidation Corads was 6 and CTSS was 15. This was despite having re received two doses of Covaxin. 65-year-old female already received first dose of Covishield and her Corads was 6 and CTSS 18. 73-year-old male already received two doses of Covishield. Corads was 6 and CTSS was 13 and in spite of that it showed GGOs.